Okay. <clears throat> For this one here, we're looking at, um, it has a circle with a center of 7, 9. So we'll go over 7 and up 9. And it has a point of tangency at 4, 5. So 4, 5. So this is uh, part of the circle. So a sketch would look something like that. And first of all, what we're going to need for the equation of the circle is what is this length? So if you look here, we've got a nice little right triangle. So press pause and figure out what your uh, radius is there. All right, hopefully you got that it was 3 and 4. And when you have 3 squared plus 4 squared, you're going to get 5 there. So my radius is 5. So I'm going to have x minus 7, because it's the opposite of the h and the k for the center, plus y minus k, uh, k, which is 9, is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. So again, this is your h and your k, and then this out here is your radius squared. So that's my equation of my circle. Um, the slope of this um, radius here is up 4 over 3. And if I want to know the equation of the tangent line, it needs to be a negative 3 over 4. Remember, perpendicular is the negative reciprocal. So if I do that, that is my tangent line. So nice little 90 degrees right there. Um, and you're welcome. I made it go through a nice perfect little point there for your y-intercept. All right, hopefully that helps.